Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take your footage from looking like this to looking like this. And all I changed was the codec. So we'll explore the benefits to shooting in RAW versus H.264. And then from there, I'm gonna show you how to convert the ProRes RAW into Cinnamon DNG, how to put it into DaVinci Resolve, and then how to color grade it in DaVinci Resolve. There's something that's really hard for me to explain about raw images versus using the H.264 compressed 10-bit, 8-bit version that we often use in DSLR cameras or even in some higher-end cameras. For those of you that have edited raw, you know that there is something so organic and innate about editing an uncompressed raw file. So recently I bought the FX30 and the Atmos Ninja and I paired them together to record ProRes raw and the image coming out of that thing is stellar. Now with this camera, there is like a little bit of a crop, but it's just something I, I live with for now. But the value of getting raw out of a setup that's less than $3,000 is just undeniably amazing to me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through and show you my workflow. Now I love how simple this converter works. It's very seamless too. So if I click on this file here, I can scrub through it and see what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and select the ones we wanna do. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we're gonna make sure this is set to 7.1 so that'll significantly reduce the size of the file. Now, if you really wanna pixel peep and go up to like no compression lossless or 3.1 or 5.1, you can do that too. Um, I find 7.1 is plenty for what I'm doing. So then what I do is I come over to select output folder. So we'll just do it to this hard drive for tutorial's sake. And then I hit convert and then it'll start converting the files. So what's cool as you can see up in the corner here, it just shows like the percentage going through. Okay, and we're done converting. So now it should be in Cinema DNG. Okay, now let's go over to DaVinci Resolve. And so in DaVinci Resolve, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come down to this tab here called the Media tab. So we're gonna hit that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll select, and I, I imported a bunch of these already here. So these aren't the same ones I imported for the raw converter example. All right, so we'll select this one here and then we'll just go ahead and drag it and bring it down into our media pool. Now there's a reason why we use the, the media tab to do this and not just import it from the edit because if we import it from the edit, See, Cinema DNG files, they're just a bunch of still files. And so if we import one of those still files, DaVinci Resolve has a hard time discerning, do I import just one still or do I import all these stills? But if we come over to the media tab and we click on the clip, it'll, it'll see it as a video versus seeing it just as one DNG photo. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over to our edit tab. And let's go ahead and, so we can see our clip up here, we can paste, we can, Scrub through it. So yeah, the 71 compression, it seems to scrub pretty smoothly. So again, I'm working on a Mac M1 machine here. So you'll notice here that everything seems really washed out and blown out in the shot. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to convert the color space here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop this down to the timeline. And then we're gonna come over to the color tab down here. Okay, so we're gonna come over to the color tab down here. Okay, so we're gonna come over to Camera Raw, and then we're gonna go to Decode using, instead of using Project, we're gonna use Clip. Okay, and then for Color Space, we're gonna change this to Black Magic Design. And voila, you can see that it's brought back a lot of detail already. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my note up here. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to apply a LUT. Now this is a buttery LUT. Okay, so you can get these at butteryluts.com. I highly recommend these LUTs. I love them. It gives a very natural filmic look to your image. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to LUT and then we'll change it to black magic. Now I know we shot this on a Sony FX30, but since we just converted the color space to black magic, we're going to use the black magic buttery LUT here. So we're gonna use black magic 4K, 6K natural, Rec 709 V3. So we'll hit that. So again, that changed our image a little bit. Okay, so this is the part that I think, so this is the part where things get really cool. So if you look down, so if you look down here, you'll see how we have all these different adjustments here. So you can pair these adjustments very similar to what you would see in Lightroom 
when you're editing a raw photo. Okay, so we're changing our window layout here just so we have a little bit more space to work with. Okay, so let's just start off by adding a little bit of contrast here. So I'm gonna add some contrast in. So you'll notice how we've lost some details in the clouds there, that's okay. Okay, and then next, let's go ahead and adjust our saturation. So we'll bring that up a little bit. So that's looking really nice, but I still wanna see more detail up in the clouds here. So let's come down to our highlights and let's turn our highlights down. We can see that's gonna pull a lot more out of our highlights there. And let's just adjust our global overall exposure here a little bit. Okay, and again, this is just a very basic color correction. You could obviously go into a lot more detail with this if you want to. Now there is one little catch to, to this. You'll notice how the image does create some noise, especially if you're um, bringing up the exposure. So you can see some noise down here a little bit. But what we can do in DaVinci Resolve, that's a really easy fix. So if we come over here, right click on this, Go to add node, add serial, and then we can come over to motion effects here. And then what we're gonna do, so this is going to do a little bit of noise reduction. So we're gonna adjust our frames to three, and then we're gonna change this Luma Chroma up to 23. And then we'll add one more node, just to bring back a little bit of the sharpness here. Again, we're not going to go crazy on this. Um, so I'm, I'm coming over here to my blur tab. We're going to come down and change that to dot four seven. Okay, so that's already looking a lot better. Like that would totally be usable for me. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you import your ProRes RAW files into DaVinci Resolve. And this is how you do some basic color grading on them.